Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to the channel, checking out another video. Um, today's video, a uh, new to me product. I was in um, AutoZone and I saw this and I picked it up. Um, as anybody that follows the channel knows that like, I don't, yes, there's better products out there that I use. Um, there's more professional grade products, but I try to appeal more to the people that just go out on the weekend and buy it, not the professionals, because why would I appeal to professionals? Because they already know what they're doing, right? supposedly anyway so that's kind of what i do so i saw this on the shelf at autozone picked it up it's a griots garage um wheel tire mat cleaner three in one non-acidic formula for oem wheels tires rubber mats you know the good stuff so anyway here it is um so we're going to be using this today on the r8 which is the this is a new r8 to me i sold my black one this is another one i'll make a whole nother video on that one um I'm saying this now because I don't know when I'm going to drop the video on the new R8. Is it going to be before or after this video? So, there's that. Um, anyway, so I've already set up my system out here. And I've already got the buckets ready. I've already put some of this in the bucket. And um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get this started here for you guys. Again, this is the Griot's Garage 3-in-1 uh, wheel tire mat cleaner. Um, everyone likes to read the directions to everybody, but... Um, it's effective on clear coated, powder coated, and chrome wheels. Um, not for use, this is important, not for use on uncoated, anodized aluminum, magnesium, motorcycle wheels, or plated brake components. Um, that's important. Ensure the wheels cool to the touch. Let me see. Let me read this real quick. Uh, once, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Allow to dwell 60 seconds. Do not allow product to dry. Agitate with preferred wheel or tire cleaning tool if necessary. Rinse clean. Um, same thing, you know, um, pretty much as everything else. So here we go. So my wheels are, most of my stuff is coated, so it's, yeah, it doesn't uh, take much to to get it clean. So anyway, again, I've already put this in my bucket over here. I've already got it in there, so I'll spray it on, use it just like they say here. All right, well, immediately the foaming trigger is nice. There's lots of foam coming out. So that's cool. And because it's also a wheel and tire, I'm gonna use it on tires. It's also matte. So I'm gonna use it on a mat, but it won't be an R8 mat. It'll be the Q4 mat, because the R8 does not have um, rubber mats. The Q4 does. So it says let it dwell for 60 seconds, agitate it. So we're gonna go ahead and agitate it, because I mean, I know my wheels aren't that dirty, so. The mat, though, that I'm gonna clean, with, clean it with, um, the mat's kinda dirty, because something got spilled on it, not once, but twice, on the same mat, so. Should be a good candidate. I use these little brushes to get into all my tight spots. Um, let's see how this stuff does. Y'all know I'm very big on my wheel cleaners, so just all my cleaners in general. So we'll see. It does foam up very nicely. This this is does foam nicely, but does it actually clean? That's another to be seen.
Cleaned it. Yeah. No dirt. It worked. Um, oh, yeah. Nothing even on there from the tire. Let me uh, leaf blow it down real quick just to make sure. You can see it did uh, did really well actually, even on the caliper there, inside there, tires. So yeah, it did good. And it foamed up nicely. Still foamed in the bucket actually. So we have a mat over here. We're gonna go try it on next. Um, go knock it out in this mat real quick. Cause the mat, as you can see here, the mat is actually got some crud on it so you can see we got some gunk on the mat here I haven't touched it yet most of this will probably wash off with the pressure washer but um we're gonna try it so most of that did come off so let's spray this on here now just to kind of see what happens here letting that dwell Got some water on the lens there it looks like. Oops. It cleaned it though. Hit that thing with that leaf blower real quick. All right, looks like it worked. There's the mat. Got all the goop off of it, looks good. So, again, this is the Griot's Garage three-in-one wheel tire mat cleaner. Here it is right here. And uh, it worked. Um, yeah, again, you can pick this up at your AutoZone. Any really big box store has it. Um, this is uh, good. Is there better stuff? I'm sure there is. Like, there's stuff you can spray on, spray off. You can get to do all this scrubbing and stuff. But that's not really what I do. So I kind of I try to appeal to more of the weekend warrior people. So all the products I use are geared toward that. So again, if you want to pick this up, if you're in the auto zone, there's other stuff you can pick up um, as well that works. Um, not really found much that I haven't liked. For the weekend warrior side, for the professional side, yes, there's stuff I don't like for the professional side, but for your regular average Joe, there's lots of good things out there. And um, actually, I don't always recommend everything. I actually posted a video re recently that of something I don't recommend at all, so waste of time. Check it out on my channel. Anyway, if you guys like the video, please subscribe, like the video. Even if you don't like it, subscribe and like it anyway, then move on. But uh, yeah, it's huge. It helps me out a lot, so please do that. Um, 
we did pick up a new car so we'll be doing a video of that either before or after this video drops i'm not sure yet so anyway guys like subscribe until next time see ya bye